instructed me to deliver to you, and then we begin with the anointing service. If you have your Bible, turn to 2 Samuel chapter 1. I'm going to read verse 21. 2 Samuel chapter 1, quickly, verse 21. This is a lamentation of David, Pastor Daniel. Praise the name of the Lord. Second Samuel chapter 1, I'm going to read verse 21. This is a lamentation of David after he got the information that Saul, the king, had died. If you start from verse 19, it says, The beauty of Israel is slain upon high places. How are the mighty fallen? Tell it not in God, publish it not in the streets of Ashkelon. Let the daughters of the Philistines rejoice. Let the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph. Now see verse 21. He says, Ye mountains of Gilboa, let there be no dew, neither let there be rain upon you, nor fields of offering." It says, for there the shields of the mighty is vilely cast away. The shield of Saul, as though he had not been anointed with oil. The Mount of Gilboa is the place where Saul died. And David is making a lamentation that on that mountain, he says, let there be no dew anymore. Let there be no rain upon that place again. Why? Because it is in that place that the security structure, the, the, the spiritual immunity was taken away. And see, what, see how he said it. He says the shield of Saul as though he had not been anointed with oil. Listen to me, beloved. When the anointing of God comes upon you, one of the most assured thing is that you are immune. You are secured. You are preserved. You are protected. Things don't just happen. That's why God has given us instruction to do this every first Sunday of every month. Because when you are anointed with oil, things don't just happen. That, oh, they were traveling and all of a sudden the vehicle. No. If there is going to be an accident there because there is anointing on you, the accident will be averted. That's what the anointing does. That's what David was saying. That is it that you don't understand that this man is anointed? Even though, of course, we know that at a particular time, the Spirit of God had departed from him, so the oil had left. But when there is anointing on you, it is impossible for things to just happen. You say, oh, eh, we don't know what happened. No. She was just complaining about her stomach, her stomach, before you know what's happening. She has gone. No. It doesn't just happen. So today, as that oil is coming upon your head, the assignment is simple. It is an anointing for preservation. It's an anointing for exemption. That when things are happening, it doesn't just happen to you. Why? Because there's oil on your head. Because there's oil on your head. Some people, some people come under a system, you know, you just say, ah, in that their family, you know, just things just happen. No, it doesn't just happen to you. The business doesn't just pack up. The man does just not wake up and pack his load and leave the house. No. Your boss just says, sorry, we don't longer leave your services in this place. No, it doesn't happen. Why? There's oil on your head. The oil that is coming upon you, God says that the assignment of the anointing today is for preservation and exemption. Things are not permitted to just happen to you as if you are nobody. That's why we are here. And I, will, I must be honest with you, there are so many things that happen in our time now. What some people call sudden destruction. If you read it in Psalm, 90, in Psalm 91, yeah, I think from verse 4, 
where David was saying that he shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield. You see that thing again? The shield. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flyeth by day, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, or the destruction that wasted the noon at noonday. He says a thousand are permitted to fall at my side and ten thousand on my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Why? There is oil on my head. So the assignment of this oil coming upon you now is for preservation. It's just like a president. You see a president, he goes to go and visit his mother. Or a president just goes into an open space and he's shaking hands with people. You think that the president is just there. No! There are security architecture. Some snipers have been put in place because a president is coming somewhere. So you would think that, okay, if I just approach the president, no, you cannot even approach the president. Some of those crowd are shaking. Some of them are security operatives. That's how important you are in the scheme of the Almighty. Things don't just happen to you. That's why oil comes upon your head. Let me show you another scripture. This is Psalm 78. Psalm 78. Sorry, Psalm 89, not 78. Psalm 89, I'll read from verse 20. Psalm 89, multimedia, you can help us please. From verse 20. He says, I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. Now, he now begins to explain certain things. He says, with whom my hand shall be established. My arm shall also shall strengthen him. He says, the enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. Why? There is oil on his head. I have found David my servant, and with my holy oil have I anointed him. In verse 23, he says, and I will beat down his foes before his face, and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. When there is oil upon your head, beloved, there's preservation. Things can happen around you, but the Lord is saying that as this oil is coming upon your head, things cannot just happen to you. I don't know who I'm speaking with, but this is the word of the Lord to you. As this oil is coming upon your head, things cannot just happen to you. So we're going to pray now over this oil. And then, just in our usual fashion, the ushers will direct and we begin to move. We'll try to be as orderly and as quick as possible. But please, I don't want you to come here and ah, today's our anointing. Let me go and put the oil in my head. Mm -mm. We're putting the oil on your head and on your hand, if you want, also in your mouth and on your documents or whatever. It depends on you, whatever you want the oil on. But please, when you receive the oil, don't go back to your seat and start chatting. Mm -mm. Go back to your seat and begin to tell God that as this oil has come upon my head, I am preserved. I am exempted from all forms of harm. I'm preserved. My generation is preserved. My family is preserved. Don't just go back to your seat and be looking. No. When the oil comes upon your head, a security system is set up in the realm of the spirit specifically for you. Rise to your feet, beloved. Just stretch your two hands towards this oil. you may be loud and clear. Father, in the name of Jesus. This anointing service is by your instruction. I decree by your spirit, even though this is an ordinary oil, 
let that same spirit that hovered over the waters in Genesis chapter 1, that same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, let that same spirit, let your spirit incubate this oil. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost be released into this oil. Every head, every hand, every mouth, anything or anyone that this oil shall come in contact with, I decree by the Spirit of the living God, we activate the power of supernatural preservation over your life. The power of supernatural provision over your life. The power of supernatural protection over your life. In the name of Jesus. I decree that as this oil comes upon you, anything that has not been working in your life, every business, every family, every career, every health, every finance, every job, whatever it is, every reproductive organ that has not been working, as this oil comes upon you, let the resurrection power of the Holy Ghost be released upon that thing in the name of Jesus. The things that were not working before, as this oil comes upon you, they shall begin to walk. They shall begin to walk. They shall begin to walk. In the name of Jesus. Anything that has been pronounced dead, as this oil comes upon you, we command you to come back to life. And every power that has been troubling your destiny, every power that has been pressing you down in your dreams, every battle in your family life that has been harassing your life, as this oil comes upon you, that battle is buried forever. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that this oil is anointed. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God, the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please be seated. God bless you. So, we're going to start now. Please, just follow the instruction of the ushers and the leaders. And they will get you here as fast as possible. Once the oil comes upon you, you return to your seat, please. When you get back to your seat, just relax and then pray, okay? Pray. Pray as the oil comes upon you. And then when we are done, we close the service.
So many great and mighty things are happening already. Rakosta parada ila gadaha. Lebra katosta payenda la bokapia. I speak over your destiny as a result of that oil that has come upon you now. Every power that appears in your dream to harass you. Especially that fellow. Every single night. Someone, an invincible person comes to you and has sex with you at night. And you are tired of that thing. The Lord asked me to tell you that because of that all that has come upon you, that shall be the end of that problem in your life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I want to make some prophetic declarations over your life before we close this meeting. I want you to get yourself ready. I told you that the oil that has come upon you is God's stamp of preservation. Any, you, you are not just that kind of person that anything can happen to. I was giving you the example of a president. A president does not just die. A general in the army, you just said that somebody shot. No. Why? Because there is a security protocol that is in place. That is what God says, that as this oil comes upon your life. You know what the Bible says? The Bible says, as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so the Lord will surround these people beginning from now. It is impossible for anything to just happen to you. Amen. That's the word of God for you today. Close your eyes, stretch your hands forward. I want to release some prophetic words into you. Thank you, Father. 
Stretch your hands. Anything in your life, every bloodline problem, everything that has to do with your ancestry, anything that has to do with where you are coming from, your lineage, and has been a problem over the years, I stand here as a servant of the living God and I decree that today is the burial of that problem. Every kind of curse or covenant that says this is how our family members always end up. Rakopara de Katia. I decree as a servant of the living God that that curse is broken over your life now. You will not end up like your daddy. You will end up better than your daddy. You will not end up like your mommy. You shall end up better than your mommy. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has not been working before now, every business, every family, every job, every career, every application, whatever has not been working before now, hear me as I hear the Lord, as you thunder with your amen, I decree a resurrection for that thing now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This is for some people here. This is for some people here. Close your eyes. The only thing that is holding you back is visibility. You are well talented. You are hardworking. You have everything that is needed. But the only thing that is holding you back is visibility. I stand here from this altar and I pronounce over your life that the people that need to find you, the people that need to find your talent, the people that need to find your business, the people that need to see that little thing you are doing in that little corner before this month comes to an end. If I be a man of God, I want your amen to be loud and clear. They shall find you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Some people are here. By the time we are entering into September to remember, you will be sending me a testimony from a foreign nation. Stretch your hands, close your eyes. Every man or woman that is under the sound of my voice and is struggling with ki any kind of health challenge, anyone under the sound of my voice, you have been spending a lot of money on drugs, or on medication. They say you have to eat a particular type of food. I decree by the spirit of the living God. Let God be God in this place. That sickness comes to an end now. That sickness comes to an end now. That sickness comes to an end now. And anyone here that you find yourself discussing with dead relatives or dead friends in the dream. The Bible says that there is no connection between the living and the dead. I decree in the name that is greater than every other name. That connection with anything that is dead or anyone that is dead, I cut it off now. 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 In the name of Jesus. The Lord says that this next one now is for 33 persons here. And the Lord says that you have suffered a lot of pain. You have suffered a lot of, of, but you have fought a lot of battles. But right now, you are tired of fighting. You are at that point where you, self, you have completely given up. Hear me as I hear the Lord. Because of that oil that has come upon you, the Lord says, that in the next 21 days, that thing that you thought you have lost, that thing that you thought will never happen in your life, hear me as I hear the Lord. In the next 21 days, God is about to bring it to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I hear the Lord saying to me now that people have lost a lot of profits. A lot of profits. That's the word I'm hearing. A lot of profit. Anyone under the sound of my voice. 
and you have put down your money for something legitimate and it's gone. Let the God that created and the, the heavens and the earth, let that God arise and let your profits begin to return to you now. Thank you, Father. Stretch forth your two hands, beloved. Stretch forth your two hands, beloved. Let your amen be loud and clear. Father, I decree over your children. Every man or woman that has been earmarked for any kind of accident, the devil has prepared, whether it is in the air or the sea or the land, any kind of accident, even domestic accidents. <laughs> it is written, touch not my anointed. But that oil that has come upon your life now, any power that is confronting your destiny with accident, let that power die by accident. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Beloved, I hear the voice of the Lord here. He's saying to me that there's someone in this meeting, a kidnapping has been planned for you. I don't know who you are. But the Lord says that surely they will attempt it. But at the attempt of that kidnapping, everyone that is involved spiritually and physically, on the spot, they shall go blind. <laughs> Beloved, I don't know who this person is. I don't know who you are. But the Lord says they will attempt the, kid they will attempt the kidnap. But everyone that is involved spiritually and physically, on the spot of the attempt, blindness shall be their portion. Whoever you are, make sure you come back to this altar to testify to the glory of God. I pronounce over your destiny that this month of August shall be a month of good things. Some people have not celebrated anything before. Some people have not been, uh, been celebrated before. In this month of August, good news shall begin to pop up every day of your life. In the name of Jesus. The kind of favor that moves people to tears. The kind of thing that will happen, you will not be able to say it. You will just be crying. Because in your imagination, those things are impossible. Yes, one night, <laughs> Joseph slept and woke up as a prisoner. By the next night, Joseph was sleeping in the palace. That thing that you yourself are telling yourself that it is impossible. In this month of August, if your amen can be louder than your previous amen, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. It is written. It disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Whatever enterprise of darkness has been set up against you for this month of August, whatever system that the enemy has put in place, whether it is in your family, whether it is in your business, whether it is in your finances, whether it is in your health, whether it is in your ministry, whether it is in your career, or your academics, whatever system the enemy has set up to frustrate you this month, that system shall crash by fire. That system shall fail by fire. That system shall fail by fire. In the name of Jesus. This is the last one. And on this one, you are going to say a sevenfold amen. I speak into your destiny by the Spirit of the living God. By the covenant that formed the mountain of fire and miracle ministries. I pronounce this over your life. A sevenfold amen. Make sure you get ready to shout it when the time comes. That everything that is bringing tears to your life. 
everything that is bringing hardship to your life, whatever it is that is bringing sorrow to your life, as you thunder with this sevenfold amen, let those things be taken away completely. The Lord bless you from Zion. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. And the Lord be gracious unto you. As you step into this new week, good things shall begin to manifest in your life. Every day of this week, you will enter from testimony to testimony. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Shall we share the grace together in fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely God's goodness and his mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's shout seven victory. Hallelujah. Let's go. Don't forget tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., command the month on our social, command the week on our social platform. Have a beautiful week, everybody. I'll see you on Thursday. God bless you. Don't forget, 7.30 tomorrow, we begin our Thanksgiving praise and worship.